Hello everyone and welcome to another video update. This time I'm going to talk about the new unit type that's going to be featured in the update. They are called cybernetic organisms. They're basically replicas of human beings. Uh, they can perform all the tasks of any profession that human beings were required for. I've added 10 additional contracts for just automated ships. Uh, but of course all the other contracts out there you can try to use mixed crews or try to uh, fully automate them. So I want to show you now how to use this new technology in ship design. Uh, I don't want to start a completely new ship. I'm just gonna load uh, one of these Tanigan transports uh, in order to modify it. I'm just gonna change the contract to Sayo Explorer and you can see here that it needs a little bit more speed and a few other rooms. Um, so I'm gonna tear out a lot of things. I'm gonna remove life support, water treatment, all the air and water tanks and then see uh, what else I can fit in there. They are quite expensive to research. The, quality, the lowest quality model costs about 35,000 uh, if you research it all the way uh, and 50,000 if you want to buy the technology immediately. But they have a lot going for them. They are not um, affected by morale at all. They do not require life support, water treatment, air or water storage. So you can, all those tanks that you used to build in there, you can get that out and it leaves much more room for whatever else you want to do on the ship. They are much tougher than any military unit and if they are damaged they just return to their pod to self-heal. One of the downsides is that they are susceptible to malfunction um, but that's also happening to humans sometimes. But if they malfunction that can be a little bit difficult because they're so tough so I will we'll, we'll show you later. Okay, all requirements are complete. Let's test that in crew management and I can show you how these units work. Um, yeah, there's four, just four SIO units now. Let's auto resolve that. Pretty good result because they're so powerful. Uh, but there's one additional mission as you can see here with just one point. Uh, that's the SIO malfunction mission. Uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, why? that can be a problem and how you can accommodate for that. Yeah, right as you start the mission you see that they already are entering the computer room. Uh, that's exactly what they want. They want to take over the computer to have control over the ship and there's just one hatch there basically. There's no even if I close that, there's no way I can stop them uh, from taking over the computer. So that's not going to work out like this. So why not just let, let's just go back uh, into ship design uh, to make that a little bit better so that we get a higher rating also in this. Uh, no, I don't need to save the rating of this ship. I'm just gonna try to put that over here and the computer over here. And that, so I can put in a curved turret. Oh, there's not enough space. So and I need to find some uh, space. I guess what I need to do is buy a smaller computer room and then there is enough for a corridor turret. And that will just defend the computer room for anyone from anyone who is wanting to intrude. Let's see how that works out. Let's see how that works this time. I'm closing all the hatches and then see what they do. They just weld their way through the hatches. 
And then as soon as they go in there, they are gonna get shot at. Yeah, take a damage. One is down. One is down, but two made it in there, so that's not enough. So if you want to make sure that there's definitely no Sai units going in there, you need to build something like I did here, where just a row of corridor turrets that will keep anyone from coming in there. Hopefully. But maybe you come up with some other solutions, or maybe you even have ideas of countermeasures that are especially um, helpful, helpful against uh, Sayo units. Just let me know. Um, I'm gonna work on uh, the, the last and final content update, which is focusing on the campaign. Uh, until then, have fun!